Right guys, how to get more followers on Depop. Um, I'm Josh, I run the shop Ryan's Finds. Uh, I'll put the name down there. That's my Depop and my Instagram. And yeah, I'm a verified seller on there. I've been verified on Depop for over two years now. And I'm sort of just gonna give you my opinion on followers and what you gain from them. And then I'm gonna show you guys three ways to gain followers. Uh, we'll go through each way, I'll show you what to do. And then I'll show you my favorite one at the end. Make sure to like the video, subscribe if you're new here and follow my Instagram and my Depop, I've already shown you, but it's there, Ryan's Finds, I-H-I-N-D-S, F-I-N-D-S. But yeah, we'll just get into the video now, and hopefully this helps some of you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna start by saying, if I made this video over a year ago, it would be a lot more helpful, but as a whole, um, you don't need followers on Depop. Um, I'm gonna say that now, that's probably making the whole video seem a bit redundant and useless. You don't need followers on Depop to get sales or to get likes. Um, it's a lot different to what it was over a year ago, basically. I'm making this video because I get two main questions um, from people messaging me on Instagram. The first one, how to get more sales on Depop. So that'll be in another video, hopefully. And then the second one, how do I get more followers on Depop? And I basically have to always explain to them what I'm gonna to explain to you guys in this video. So as I said, you don't need followers on Depop to get sales. Um, before the whole DNA feature was introduced onto Depop, it was very follower based. So all your followers, when they clicked on their feed, they could see all the latest items that you just posted. But now with the whole Depop update of the DNA feature being on the Explore page, as well as your feed, they're all on like the same icon on your Depop. I think it's the far bottom left one. When you click on that one, you have to swipe twice to get to your feed. With all that being introduced, Depop is very search based now. Um, so if people want to find a Nike sweatshirt, people will just be searching in the search bar instead of looking on their feed for newest items that have been uploaded. I don't really know why Depop have introduced all these functions, um, but they've sort of just made your whole follower base and having a huge follower base made it a bit useless and made it sort of a bit redundant. And you can't really use it as well as you could, um, say over a year ago. Now I'm gonna show you three ways of gaining followers. Um, so I'm sort of going against what I just said where you don't need followers, um, but this is how you gain some followers. The first one is mass following. Um, so what you do is go on shops who sell similar items to you and you basically go on who's following them and you would just mass follow everyone and I think with Depop there's a 7,500 um, limit on people you can follow so you follow as many as you can let it sit for like an hour or two and then unfollow everyone and you just repeat that obviously it takes ages it's very long um, it is quite good you do gain lots of followers from it um, but it's very time consuming. Um, I think I used to do it, I used to do it back in school before I even started doing Depop properly. I just tried to gain as many followers as I could. Um, but yeah, that's mass following. It is effective, very time consuming, and yeah, it's just a bit of a long one. The next way is item following. Um, I just made that name up on the spot, so it doesn't have a proper name, um, but I just called it that. Uh, basically, you look at the items that you're selling on your shop, um, you just go onto the search bar, search for similar items, so like a Nike sweatshirt, Stoneline jumper, something like that, some cargoes, Carhartt jumpers, and you basically click on items which are similar to your items that you're selling. Click on the people who have liked that item and then you just go through following every single one of them and then doing it again on lots of different items until you get to the limit and then you let it sit for a little while, do the exact same, unfollow everyone and then just repeat the process. It's very similar to the first one, um, but it's more based around items that people have liked, um, which you're also selling. People see that you follow them, they click on your profile and they see, oh, you've got that item up for sale. If it's priced lower than the item that they've liked, maybe they'll buy it, um, or maybe they'll follow you as well. Again, it's a very long one. It is effective. Um, it probably helped more with sales as well as followers compared to the first one, which is mainly just followers. And then we have the final way of gaining followers. Uh, the best way, the organic way, uh, which is post lots of items, post them consistently, spread them out over the week, good photos, just everything that Depop basically tells you what to do. Just do it and you will gain followers. What I usually do over a week, um, it'll probably be like three or four of the days. At the end of the night, I'll go onto my notifications, I'll scroll down all the way till it says um, one day and it goes to 24 hours. And then from the 24 hours, I'd count all the way up and I'll count how many followers I've gained in that day. I sort of just do that like three or four times a week and it sort of just tells me how many followers I'm gaining on average each day. Um, on a bad day, it's usually around 15. Um, average day, it's usually around 18 to 20 followers I'm gaining each day. And then a good day will be 25 to 30 followers. 
And obviously, if you get an item put on the Explore page, or if you get more than one item, um, you'll gain lots of followers from that. And then as well as being on the Explore page, you can be a featured seller, um, which you gain lots of followers from. Um, I think I've been featured two or three times. You get featured when you get verified, and it lasts two weeks. And then I think I've just been randomly featured another two times, which again lasted two weeks. And I think, I think it was the second time I got featured. I did count how many followers I gained. Um, and I think it was around 1,700 over a two week period, um, which is a lot more than what you'd usually gain if you were just doing it organically. Um, so yeah, being featured helps a lot. Um, but yeah, you just can't beat organic growth because um, your followers are gonna be more active. They're gonna be following you for a reason. They're gonna be following you because they like the items that you sell. They support your shop and they want to buy from you. I used to do mass following, as I said, when I was back in school. Um, I think I did mass following until I got to around nine or 10,000. And then all the following that I've gained from 10,000 onwards has all been organic, um, whether it been featured items, a featured seller, or just posting items consistently each week um, for months on end. That is it for this video. Um, I made it short, sweet and simple. Um, it was a bit longer, but I decided to cut down a lot of it just to make it as easy to understand as possible um, but yeah what you need to remember is you don't need followers to get sales or be successful on Depop that is the main thing that you need to know and then obviously I did add in the three ways to gain followers because um, they do help in some way on Depop just not as much as they did um, over a year ago um, but yeah that's it for the video thanks for watching make sure to like subscribe um, comment down below if any of this helped you also comment down below if you got any tips to tell me uh, because I've been taking Depop seriously for like two to three years and I'm still learning lots about it. Um, but yeah, like, subscribe, all of that. Follow my Instagram and my Depop down here at the bottom of the screen. Ryan's Finds, I H I N D S F I N D S. I think that's it. Hopefully another video next weekend. I'm going to keep on rolling out these Depop videos. There's going to be one like photography, descriptions, how to get sales, stuff like that. Um, just the generic sort of bits. Uh, but yeah, comment down below what you want to see. Thanks for watching. Peace.